So what is going on guys, Nando Pesanic3 here with another video and before we get started, I do want to give a big shout out to a YouTuber that I just found who deserves a lot more subscribers. His name is VJ Tech. He, you know, he just started out, I just like watched a couple of his videos, I was really really impressed with some of his cinematography. You know, again, obviously a tech channel, so I'm going to leave his channel link below. If you guys want to check him out, uh, say that I sent you. Just comment Nando Prince 93 found your channel through Nando Prince 93 and I want to take a break from all the, you know, Apple and AirPod stuff and go back to the roots of the channel, which is iPad OS, iPad Pro, those kind of features, right? And I stumbled upon a little tweak, which I thought would be kind of useful because for some reason, people have been wanting this. I don't know why you would want this, but some people do want to have this feature and Apple is kind of weird about how you go about doing it. So you do not need to be jailbroken. You don't need to go out anywhere and do something crazy. But this is how you encrypt or like lock individual applications within iPadOS. So I'm gonna show the screen right here and we're just gonna hop right into it and I'm gonna show you guys how it's done. Again, it's a little workaround, it's a little hack. It's not technically made to password protect each individual app, but it's there and there's a way to uh, exploit another feature in order to get what you want. So if you go into settings, you go into screen time, right? So when Apple released, I think it was iOS 12, they added the screen time feature, which basically keeps track of how long you use your iPad OS or your iPad, your iPhone. And I think they even came to Mac OS. I'm not 100% sure though. Don't quote me on that one. But basically it lets you track how often, how long you use your device and also breaks it down by per application use, right? So like if you use YouTube for 18 hours a day, as opposed to doing using your homework app for only a minute a day, right? So with this, if you go into the screen time settings, like I said, there is an option called app limits and you can turn that on, right? I already set it up, so I put my passcode in. And the way you would, I guess, go about encrypting or password protecting each individual app is by setting an app limit for yourself, right? So if you go into app limits and you press add limit, you can now choose each individual, you can choose each individual app and basically lock it down after a minute. So for instance, like I said, I'm always on YouTube, I'm always watching people's videos. And you know, if I do think sometimes it's stopping my productivity, I'm like, hey, you know what? I wanna lock it up, right? So we go into entertainment, you click on YouTube, you can click it as, on as many as you want. Maybe, yo, you gotta stop listening to music, stop turning off and on the lights with your Google Home. Or maybe I wanna stop shopping, right? Because I'm, running up a crazy credit card bill. So I'm going on, look, I'm gonna turn off Amazon and and the Apple store, right? So then you go into next and the way you would lock it, right? So if, I guess the main reason people wanna lock it is like, let's say somebody steals your device, they get into your initial passcode and then they get, then they try to open up, you know, maybe some, you know, some of your personal information. You can lock it down and let it go for, so after a minute and you do it for every single day, you press add. And then you click on here and you have to remember to set this setting to block at end limit. So make sure this setting is turned on. And then basically, if I go and let's let's do the, the YouTube one, right? If I add that, make sure that the block at end limit is good. You go out, you see that the YouTube app is now darkened. And if I try to open it, time limit has been checked, done. And if you ask for more time, the only way you can get into this application is if you enter the passcode that you determined. So you're essentially password protecting each individual app. Again, it's not perfect, it's a workaround, it's using one service or one uh, application reason that Apple did to basically, the reason app limits were set up is to tell my parents to set app limits for their children. I think that's the reason why it was put in there, but now you can technically password protect whatever you want just in case it gets stolen. And like, let's say you have you know, all your banking information on here, right? You, they can go into your banking app and start withdrawing money or transferring money to their own bank. You can now protect your, you know, your banking applications. So, and then the way to get back into it is put, put in your passcode and approve all day, and then you're right back into the application. So that's a little tweak that I noticed that was kind of cool. And it's, again, it's a workaround, it's not perfect. It's not like a setting that Apple made to encrypt every single Apple application or every single application, but you can do it now, and this is how. So hopefully somebody gets some use out of this. Uh, again, it's not a jailbroken hack. You don't need to be jailbroken. You don't need to have any sort of modification. It's all built within the settings app and it's pretty easy to, to do as you guys can see. So hopefully this helps somebody out. If you guys like videos like this, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And again, check out my boy VJ Tech. He's doing some great stuff. Until next time, peace.